Naked and Unafraid, The Black-Tailed Deer by Gary Ordog, MD, filmed in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, my backyard. The black-tailed deer here, seen in our backyard of Maple Ridge. These are free and wild, naked and unafraid. Uh, they're grazing in a blueberry patch here in the backyard and are un perturbed by my presence and other human presence and just keep feeding and do not run away. Deer are browsers. During the winter and early spring they feed on Douglas fir, western red cedar, red huckleberry, salal, deer fern, and lichens grown on trees. Late spring to fall they consume grasses, blackberries, apples, fireweed, salmon berries, salal, and maple. The mating or rutting season during November and early December uh, occurs when the bucks can be observed running back and forth across the roads in pursuit of the does. After the rut, the buck tends to hide and rest, often nursing his wounds. They suffer broken antlers and may have lost weight. They drop their antlers between January and March. Antlers on the forest floor provide a source of calcium and other nutrients for the other forest inhabitants. Bucks regrow their antlers beginning in April through to August. And here you can see that these black-tailed deer are basically naked and unafraid as the title suggests. And uh, I am several feet from them, but they are not running away or not even noticing that I exist. The gestation period for the does is six to seven months, with fawns being born in late May and into June. Twins are the rule, although young does often have only single fawns. Triplets can also occur. Fawns weigh 2.7 to 4 kilograms, 6 to 8.8 .8 pounds, and have no scent for the first week or so. This enables the mother to leave the fawn hidden while she goes out to browse and replenish her body after giving birth. She may often eat just enough to produce milk to feed her fawns. Although does are excellent mothers, fawn mortality rate is 45 to 75 percent. Does are very protective of their young and humans are viewed as predators. Although here there are no fawns, the Humans are not even a worry for these guys. Deers communicate with the aid of scent and pheromones from several glands located on the lower legs. And here's a pair, a buck with antlers and a doe, who if you'll watch here, just so relaxed, he uh, lays down, and sits down on the ground. So, these are very tame, this black-tailed deer, naked and unafraid, and tame. Look at I'm able to walk pretty well right up to it. It does start a little, but does not run away, and uh, I can follow it for several minutes without it leaving. Deer have an excellent sight and smell sense. Their large ears can move independently of each other and pick up any unusual sounds that may signal danger. At dawn, dusk, and moonlit nights, deers are seen browsing on the roadside. Wooded areas with forests on both sides of the road and open grassy areas such as golf courses attract deer. Caution when driving is prudent because often as one deer crosses, another or two will follow. And many of them are hit on our roadways every day.
if you'll watch this doe stays under the tree and really does not run away or even try to hide there it is I'm walking right around it and getting right up to it and it just continues to praise So the black-tailed deer here, this is as I described the feeding area is a golf course locally. This is all taking place in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada. And these deer are naked and unafraid. Stopping to groom himself or herself, I'm sorry without any fear of me being several feet away uh, filming this family of deer. Again, the big ears, multi-directional on each one, can hear sounds very, very well. Useful for predators such as uh, wolves and mountain lions. Uh, also, obviously, humans, but they do not appear to fear humans so this is not very sportful if you ask me for hunting here I am uh, driving by some herd of deer in my car they have no fear of cars the car is running making noise I've got my window down talking to them and they totally ignore me they are naked and unafraid Here's the local newspaper reports deer walking down the main street of town in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada. The black-tailed deer are urbanized and civilized, obviously. And as the title goes, naked and unafraid. Sport hunting. Uh, all these deer you've seen here are potentials for sport hunting. They're wild and free. He seem like more of a pet than for sport hunting, if you ask me. Uh, these deer, you can walk right up to them, as I've shown you in this video. So thank you for uh, your continued support and kind support. Anyone can just walk right up to these deer. They are basically pets, not sport for hunting, if you ask me. Okay, here's one of my books, uh, Management of Gunshot Wounds. Another one of my books, Medical Toxicology, Diagnosis and Treatment of Human Poisoning. Also available on CD. And this is the major textbook on this subject. Again, thank you for your kind support and appreciate your patronage. Uh, please subscribe to my channel by pressing on my caricature. I am board certified by the American College of Forensic Examiners in Forensic Medicine and also a MD from the University of British Columbia and residency at Martin Luther King Jr. General Hospital in Emergency Medicine as one of them. I'm also certified by the American College of Forensic Examiners as a 